Ooh, ugh. what a great way to start the video. Just snot flooding out of my nose. Can you, can you, can you, can you survive the model man? Can you be- So I was just scrolling through my notes app in my little ideas folder. I, I write down a lot of my ideas for like YouTube videos or whatever the fuck. Okay, okay. Look at this like insane lighting. I look like I'm in like a shoot for like some magazine. Like the lighting is like. <laughs> I saw an idea that I had written down months ago. Maybe even like. A a year plus. It just said, reading Tyra Banks' YA fantasy book or something. I don't know. And then I was like, what? Tyra Banks has a book? Yes, she does. She does. Of course she does. She was like on TV and famous during a time when I was not really sentient. So like anywhere like 16 years old and under. To me, Tyra Banks is just a meme. Like she's on the same level as like Wendy Williams okay. to me as like, James. she's like the Beyonce seance girl. You know what I'm talking about? I'm ready for a different interview with Beyonce. <laughs> seance. Seance. If you could communicate with anybody that has passed away, Oh, who would it be? But I also do know that she is quite controversial, maybe? Or I don't know. I know that she like had a show at one time. I think it was the same show where she interviewed Beyonce, where she was like notoriously bad at interviews, clearly. Beyonce, what's your favorite type of cheese? Where she dressed up in a fat suit for like a day and then went on her show and was like, I know what it's like to be fat now. Or like, she spent a night hom homeless, and then she went on her show and was like, I get it. I get it. I know exactly what it's like. Up next, the struggle to survive. How homeless people really live. We're hungry, can we have some change? Sorry, sir, sir, we have, can we have some change? I feel kind of weird right now. And I knew I wasn't right. gonna spend the night there, but I wanted to feel the terror of actually laying on the hard cement out in the open and exposed and calling it my day. Also, obviously, America's Top Model, which I don't think I've ever seen an episode of, but I imagine... I imagine it was pretty bad. The one thing I know from that show is that they had a challenge where they changed races for a photo shoot, which... I think that says, that says everything I need to know. I wish I knew why I had this note. Like, where did I, wh where did this come from? I wanna give somebody props. This note was from forever ago, and the only thing, I, I googled this book on YouTube, and the only thing I found was this video by Film Fatales that actually came out on my birthday. <laughs> July 27th, which I started watching and it's great. I'll link it below, but I pause it because I, 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 <laughs> I need to read this book. So yes, I did buy it on Jeff Bezos's Amazon. It's supposed to come on September 28th. So like a week and a half from today. And I was planning on starting this video when I got the book, but then I started looking at I guess this book had quite the buildup. Tyra Banks was really trying to do something with this. The first thing I found was Model Land theme song. And I hit play, and we're just gonna listen to a bit of it. Hey, it's Tyra, it's Tyra me, running in the in wash street with four chicks in green. And they are looking me, they are running for their life. Their beauty is in strife, running from this wasteland and back to Model Land. Can you, can you, can you, can you survive Model Land? Okay, <laughs> if you can't understand that, which why would you be able- I think it's saying like Can't you survive motherland running through the streets of New York City? <laughs> And then the thing that made me want to pull out my fucking camera and start recording was the Model Land trailer. It's only a minute long. I'm gonna screen record. I got like 20 seconds in and we're gonna watch the rest of it together. The highest quality comes in at 240p. <laughs> you wanna be there. You know you do. Don't lie, darling. It's okay. You're obsessed with being chosen. Everyone is. You lust to go to this land to become an entire One of the only This is what made me pause and say, I gotta watch, I gotta watch the rest of this here because <laughs> this shit says, be careful what you wish for, darling. <laughs>
And the main character's name is Tuki de la Creme. Tuki de la Creme goes from runways to running for her life. <laughs> Is beauty in the smize of the <laughs> So, um, gosh, this, wow. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll talk to you again when I have the physical copy in my hand and we can start this adventure. So, it has been a couple weeks. I've done a lot of living. I really feel like a, a changed person from the person that you just saw. You might be able to hear my voice. I was sick. <laughs> Clap if you care. However... Oh, Lord. How many people were scared? Oh, me too. I was really, really scared. This is so stupid. Damn. Oh, it feels nice. Aw. Look at Tyra on the back. Aww. That is so cute. <laughs> I am going to actually take this off because I hate these stupid fucking j jackets. Just sit without the jacket. It's got it's black and it's got these gold letters. Wow. I'm excited. How many pages is it? It's almost 600 pages. 563 pages. Do you see that? I'm gonna start it today. I'm gonna keep this quick, I'm gonna keep this brief. I don't wanna check in every single time something f***ing iconic happens because it, this video will be for 24 hours long. I'm eight pages in. I'm eight pages in. Eight pages. Oh my god. Like, it's incredible. It has already cemented itself as like one of the most incredible things I've ever read. It's art. It's high art. I'm not kidding. It's avant-garde. It's really Unbelievable. It feels like I'm in like New York in the fucking 80s. 600 page. I'm think. I'm starting to think six, it's not enough. It should be a thousand. It should be whatever the Bible is, triple that. I'm gonna read a bit more and then maybe I'll tell you what it's about. This is gonna be like a spoiler full reading vlog type thing. I'm gonna try to, to get, get as much of the plot in as possible, but there is so much going on. I'm bound to miss some things. I'm gonna try this again because I just filmed for like 20 minutes trying to explain the plot of this book and I got so flustered I just gave up and I deleted the footage but it's I, but I'm, I'm, I'm like even worse. Like I, I took a break, but I, I, I thought that I would come back and my, have my thoughts a bit more composed. I've never read Infinite Jest, but I've heard that there is just so much packed into that book. The way to read it is to just like really let go and just allow for what happens to happen. And that's very much so how I feel here. I don't know what's happening. Tyra has tapped into a genre that does not exist. Fuck a genre, a world, a dimension. Like this, she's inventing a new entity. Like I need to read this like 10 times in order to crack that membrane even slightly of understanding. I don't even know where to start. I'm 200 pages in. Not much has happened, but so much has happened. I think that I've completed like the first act because Tuki has just entered model land. <laughs> Tuki Delacreme is our main character. She is 
ugly as fuck. She has a huge punch bowl sized head with a massive forehead, eyes too far apart. You can fit a Mack truck in between those eyes. Mouth is too wide, hair is all fucked up. She's got like a hunch, but also she speaks every single language. <laughs> For some reason, she has learned every single language <laughs> in her 15 years of life. She is 15 years old, so she speaks and understands every language. Mind you, this is fantasy. They haven't mentioned Earth once. They're living on some distant planet. I don't know. I don't know. I really wanted this to be like an extensive deep dive into this book. Like really just like explaining every different thing that occurs here. But this is almost 600 pages. I'm 200 pages in and we've just got to Mata Land. We're just there. We, we are just entering the gates. So everything before that has been all lore. There is so much shit going on in this world. I'm going to miss a lot, but I'm gonna try to get as much in here as possible. Our main character, Tuki De La Creme, she is what is considered a forget -a girl in this world they live in. The only celebrities in the world are models. They're the only people with any reach. I haven't heard of like any politicians. I don't know who the president of this world is. I think it is the Madonna. The Belladonna. The Belladonna. The Belladonna is like the queen of model land. She makes all the decisions. And the only thing that matters in this world are models. So I imagine she is like the queen of this place. I mean, it explains why Tuki is living in a city with zero organization. Taxes are not being paid. What do politicians do? <laughs> There is no government. The government is the Belladonna, and she only gives a fuck about selling products and models, and using the models to sell the products. So Tuki lives in a city called Metopia, which is like the factory district. It's all about industry, and everyone who lives there kind of just resigns to the fate of becoming a factory worker, unless they get chosen to go to school in Model Land and become a model, which there's a very slim chance that that will occur. But it seems like every single girl is like, oh, it's happening. Like, it's happening for me. It says in the preface, you lust to go to this land to become one of the only famous people in the world. You ache to be a 7-7, seven -seven, which this has been pissing me the f*** off. So the 7-7, seven -seven, within these cities, a couple of girls are picked to go to model lands, to go train, to become a model. And at the end of each year, I think, seven girls are picked to be a part of the 7-7, seven -seven, which reading that has been so f***ing annoying because I don't know if I'm supposed to read it as seven or seven seven who gives a fuck on the day of discovery a couple girls are picked now this day of discovery it just happened maybe page like around 150 it is the craziest shit ever <laughs> that scene I had so much fun reading genuinely basically what happens is um, these girls, these young girls, and any, like, any girls that even said that there were women in between living situations <laughs> who, like, wrap themselves in garbage bags. What you have to do is, I think for 15 minutes, you go to this, like, town square, and you get all dolled up, and you just walk. You walk. You strut your shit. But what made this so fun for me, Tyra is so unbelievably creative. As I said, there is nothing like this. There is nothing like this that has this much creativity and imagination. Yes, it's horribly written. It is so badly written. Like the ideas that she has are so fucking big and she didn't do like a horrible job of translating that to paper. But before the day of discovery, seven talismans called Smizes are released to the world through the 
water, but these smizes boost your odds of being chosen by 91%. These women and girls leading up to the day of discovery are going ballistic, trying to find these smizes in the sewer. People are fucking dying. I forgot to mention that on the day of discovery, while they're walking in this square, they're also dying. I, they're killing each other. But I was like blown away by the way that Tyra wrote the scouts. They're magical. They're like forming out of cement and then she described them as being like made of rock or one of the scouts came out of like a pile of trash but she was wearing this like very chic ripped in all the right places <laughs> outfit and she came and like grabbed one of the girls and took her back and they disappeared into this pile of trash again. So every single girl wants to be picked except for Tuki de la Creme. She's not like other girls, but the way that she's picked was really fucking cool. She jumped on top of this car that was like made out of fucking diamonds because she's got a sister named Miracle, 13 year old sister who does get a smize. And Tuki actually goes to the day of discovery to support her sister. But Tuki climbs up on this car. This car like turns into a scout, which this fucking scout ends up being Seal. Do you wanna know who Seal is? First of all, let's look at that spelling. Let's look at the way that Tyra decided to spell this name. That's supposed to say seal. Yeah. Now, seal is the most famous, most successful 7-7, seven -seven, but recently she's went rogue. <gasps> I'm, I don't know what happened yet, but... <laughs> Model Land is condemning the actions of Seal. And she hasn't been seen for like a very long time, but Seal picks Tuki, plops her in her bag, and flies away with her. <laughs> also a little bit more backstory about Tuki's family. She's got a mom who is named Creamy. What? Her mother's name's Creamy. And she's horrible. Now, Tuki's father, he used to be an acrobat in circuses, Christopher de la Creme, but when he was an acrobat, he was called the incredible Chris Creme Crobat. Why? He lost his eye because I don't know what he was doing, but he was like up really high, and then Creamy, his wife, was doing her makeup, and the mirror flashed in his eye. He fell, but he was fine. He fell, I think, like seven stories, but he did a roll, and then he got up, and I guess there was like a knife sticking up. His ass bent down to bow, and the knife just like impaled his eye. and now he has a glass eye. But like that, I don't think has anything to do with anything. I will say right before, there is so much shit going on. This is crazy. Right before they left the day of discovery, Tuki was planning on running away with Lizzie, her friend who has been missing for like two weeks. The first time we encountered Tuki on like page four, she's in the hallway l laying on the ground in the hallway of her high school, just laying there on the ground. I feel like I should mention this. There is a reason why she's laying on the floor in the middle of her high school. It's in protest. It's in protest of being a forget a girl. And it's actually quite sad. All Tuki wanted was for someone to notice her. Anyone. Just a simple kick in the ribs or a sneaker sole that squished her hand or a textbook that slipped from a student's grip and fell on her larger forehead. <laughs> she wasn't picky. So she just wants to be noticed. There's also Zarpessa. Zarpessa she goes to school with and she's dating Theophile who is Tuki's love interest, but Lizzie and Tuki have discovered that Zarpessa is actually homeless and dumpster diving. I only say that because Zarpessa is now at school with Tuki in Model Land. She was also chosen. Oh, and Miracle, Tuki's younger sister, was not chosen. Even though she had a spies, she was not chosen. Yeah. Also, there's some drama within the family. So first of all, they're living in this mansion. But it says if you look closer, it's like covered in duct tape. Like it's falling apart. In fact, it says here when Tuki comes home, another piece of slate broke off from the roof and fell to the ground, nearly slicing her skull in two. Oh my god, she murmured. She nearly died the most gruesome death, and she just goes, oh my god. 
But right before the day of discovery, listen to this, this is crazy. Tuki is planning on escaping with Lizzie, her friend, because Lizzie has been sent to this like mental institute, this hospital that abuses its patients. Again, there's no government. The Belladonna is the only piece of government there is. <laughs> they like sliced her feet open and poured like melted metal or like some crazy shit. <laughs> They're trying to kill this girl. <laughs> They poured some substance onto her feet after slicing them open. They're just torturing her. <laughs> but she's so dumb. She gets up at 7, which like 7 is a very normal time for people to wake up. Bitch, you should be getting up at like 3 a.m. Make sure those motherfuckers are asleep. But she's about to leave, but then her parents just are like, Tuki, we're, we gotta go to the day of discovery, what are you doing? But the night before, there was this big fight between Chris Creme Crobat, her father, and Creamy, her mother, where essentially, Tuki's father says that he doesn't believe that Tuki is actually his biological daughter because she's so ugly. <laughs> Even though Tuki has one brown eye and one green eye, and so does her father. Like, that just isn't really gonna be a coincidence. And he says that after the day of discovery, he's gonna go to a hospital and get a DNA test done, and then send Tuki to work in the factory and never see her again. And Creamy is kind of just like... Okay... Almost done. Seal takes Tuki, puts her in her pouch, and flies away. She then flies to three other cities. One of them is a massive convenience store, like massive, like the size of a city. And she grabs one of the workers named Dylan. She then goes to this city called Candelabra, takes one of the girls there named Shiraz. And then she goes to this other city, takes the princess named Piper. Now they're in this pouch together, flying or transporting. Seal is also magic. Yeah, Seal is magical being. Each seven, seven, has a magical power. One of them is like transportation, one of them is like morphing abilities, and then the other ones were just like fucking stupid. I don't even remember what it was. It was like, they can like smell good or something. So they're all in this pouch, then talking to each other, they're like, holy fuck, this is crazy. Like, I can't believe we're like, we're doing this. But then one of them is like, obviously we're, we're the ones that are being sacrificed. Because apparently each year, four girls are taken and they are straight up just killed. And um, the civilians of Model Land bathe in their blood to stay young. So eventually they make it to Model Land. Seal has been wearing a veil. So the people didn't know that Seal was the one to take Tuki and the other girls. She takes off her headdress and everyone's like, Holy fuck, you're seal? <laughs> I think in this world, like when Tyra was writing this, Tyra was like, that's me. That one's based off of me. What? They then start a tour of Model Land. Um, Jen Jen is the tour guide for Tuki's little group. Model Land is just fucking crazy. Like, I can't even explain it. It's just fucked up. It's like, it's insane. The world building within it, I don't know what it looks like. There's so much fucking description, but none of it makes sense. And none of it fits together within my head. I really think that this book could have benefited from a map. At the, like, a map would be such a good idea at the beginning. But even then, it would still be like the most confusing thing ever. And then the trials begin. I'm not gonna explain all of the trials. There's a couple trials. They're all super weird and like, it's like, why? Like, what is this? Like the very first one was, the girls are sat down in front of a mirror. These makeup artists come in and like, I think it's like 30 seconds do their hair and makeup. But while they're doing it, they're passing supplies like brushes. They're sharing makeup supplies. They turn the lights on. The lights were off while they did their makeup. I don't know how the fuck, uh, I don't know. And they look in the mirror and they're like, oh my God, oh my God, I look incredible. I was glad to see Tuki feeling a little bit confident, even though she sucks and I hate her and I want her to die, but I also love her. But very quickly their faces begin to morph into um, zombies, kind of. Their eyes are falling out, their skin is like falling off. Through these trials, there also is a door that says home. And if the girls run through that door, not only do they get to go home, but they also age 50 years. I don't know why they couldn't have just gone home. <laughs> but the moral of that first trial is don't share makeup. 
because it's unsanitary. But it's the last trial that's really the kicker. What is unveiled is a huge sewing machine. And what happens is the giant needle in the sewing machine, it impales the girls through the head and travels through their body. It, it should be killing them, yes? But instead they just disappear. And then when it happens to Tuki, Tuki becomes a floating head and she sees the other girls are also floating heads. And they're in this like realm and at the end far away there's like a light there's a lit up door and over the door says home and their heads are floating towards this door so tuki's going fuck i don't want to go home i don't because i'm gonna have to go work in the fucking factory dad's gonna send me to the factory so she starts freaking out she's seeing all the other girls heads no bodies just a head floating through this door and she does end up uh, passing through this door and that's where i have stopped this is what i wrote on <laughs> last page. I'm blown away. I'm blown away by the creativity and the imagination and the ability to conceptualize it. It is really remarkable. It's so, so bad. There is something to that though. Man, I don't know. I'm on chapter 18. The chapter is called La Lumière. I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. I am. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So it's been a few days and I have not picked up Model Land because honestly I'm scared. I read that first 200 pages in like a day. It's just sensory overload. It is a lot to experience, but today is Friday and I'm going to finish it this weekend. I feel like I need to like film a bit to push me to start reading it again. So this is why I'm filming this clip. My plan right now is to read 50 pages, go outside because it's a beautiful day and I deserve to be outside. I deserve fresh air. Come back, read another 50 pages. I also have so much editing to do. So yeah, let's go. Sorry. <laughs> the most dramatic leg cross in the universe. Can you, can you, can you, can you survive, model man? Can you, can you, can you, can you survive? I'm not like I understand, but I'm not so sure I do. What? Spirits and... What? So I just read 50 pages of Model Land. I'm on page 252 and I just want to quickly go over what has just taken place. So naturally, as I expected, the door that their floating heads floated through. Did you hear that? My dog is on the ground. You want to go to Model Land? No, he wants to go outside to go poop. So they are officially in Model Land. Model Land is their home for I think the rest of their lives, unless they get kicked out. But they go to bed and Lumere is a light that shines on the girls all night long while they try to sleep right in their face. And it's supposed to be like their best lighting. So Zarpesa gets, naturally she gets a spotlight. There's a girl that gets glow sticks and like candlelight. They wake up and Tuki, her stomach and her head hurts. Basically what happens is all of their periods have synced overnight and they come to find out that it is actually their last period that they will ever have. I guess it's just a nuisance for them being models. But the first morning Tuki also gets a bottle of perfume which she squirts and the squirt <laughs> turns into a piece of paper that is her schedule in model land. There's not like a single thing that can just be like normal. So time is not by numbers, time is by colors. So her first class, uno, cara cara cara, time, midnight blue, sharp. Dos, dos, why the fuck did she need to do the numbers in Spanish? Runaway intensive, time, Kelly Green. Tres, mastication, time, goldenrod. I hate this shit. We also find out about some spirits, which maybe have been mentioned before, but I guess Model Land is in the middle of a war. Tuki tries to get to her first class, Kara Kara Kara, and she runs into these boys building a stadium. There are boys in Model Land, they are male models, but they are very inconsequential. They're explained as being like workers, but they're building a stadium because 
these spirits on the other side of the wall, which maybe they have been mentioned and explained. There's just so much shit in this and it's so hard to follow that I don't remember them ever being mentioned. Also, there is like a huge likelihood that they were never mentioned. This is the first time they are being mentioned, but across the wall, there are these spirits and they sent over a fireball that destroyed Modeland Stadium. So they're building a new one. They're also trying to destroy Modeland. I don't know why. Tuki's first class, Kara Kara Kara, ends up being about facial movements and modeling, but it just ends up being like desensitizing the women for some reason. There's images that float in front of each of their faces and they're supposed to give the opposite reaction of what should be evoked. One of the examples is a dead cat giving birth to an octopus in the middle of an abandoned road. <laughs> and from that, I think the reaction should be like, Ugh. But what they're supposed to do is be like, Tuki then goes to runaway class, which is just runway. I don't know what, th I don't understand what's happening. This was like the most confusing part of the book so far. They were given these golden like sashes. I forget what they're called, but they're magical. And all the Bellas have one of these. And I think it gives them powers. But the girls, they go on the runway and they like runway walk, but everyone else is like seeing something completely different. I don't understand what was happening at all. I just know that Tuki Tuki, Zarpessa, her enemy, replaced her magical sash with one that is not magical, and she looked bad, I guess? But everyone who walked except for Zarpessa looked really bad. Tuki's friend, Shiraz, walked, and the guru, they don't have teachers here, they have gurus. The guru said to her, girl, you look like a squirrel stuck in the middle of a busy street trying to avoid being crushed. Hell, if I had a car right now, I would make a point of running your lil ass over. <laughs> Their teacher just said he would run one of his students over with his car. And they're now in the class Mastication, which is all about food. But yeah, I am going to take a break and I'll come back and hopefully today get more of Model Land done. Fuck, it's so weird. I was looking for you, girl. I was all rooting for you. How dare you? This? cannot be real. I'm on page 291. Not too much has happened, but like, I guess what is occurring now is like a love story between Tuki and one of the male models, Bravo. They've met once, and now it's three months later. There was a huge time jump. Three months into the next semester, Tuki has run into Bravo, clearing a bunch of trees out of a path or something, like dead trees, and he's covered in wood chips, and he shakes, and he gets wood chips on Tuki, and I guess it gets on her lip, and he takes his dirty ass thumb and starts wiping her lips, and Tuki... <laughs> It says, Tuki wanted to bite down hard on his hand to teach him a lesson to not touch her like that. But instead, she closed her lips on his thumb, locking it inside her mouth. <laughs> her body betraying her. So she just sucked this boy's thumb into her mouth and she won't let it go. And Bravo's <laughs> response is, um, do I taste good? <laughs> So today's Monday, and I just finished all the work that I need to do today. It was creating this meme, and then I posted it to my Patreon, and that's all that I have to do today. Um, and I'm a millionaire. But I am on page 326 of Model Land, and I'm going to try to finish it today. That means I've got like 230 pages, I think, left. I really just want... I'm over it. I'm really over it. It is so much. Its charm has definitely run out. But at the same time, it's like, that's part of it. Like, that's part of it. Like, the suffering and the pain. It feels like I'm at, like, top model. I'm a contestant. Because I feel like you get there and you're like, oh my god, this is so fun. This is so colorful. This is so much... Um, I've never seen the show. And then over time you start doing the challenges and you start doing blackface. <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, I don't 
really want to be doing this anymore. Like, I feel like this is for the watchers of Top Model. And I believe the way that show works is each episode they do like a challenge, like a photo shoot or like a runway. In the world of modeling, it's turned into a challenge that is not at all applicable to the realities of being a model. The challenges have absolutely nothing to do with actually becoming a model. It doesn't really set you up for anything. It's purely just for entertainment. It's for torturing these poor girls to entertain people in the Midwest. Because this kind of has just been like challenge after challenge after challenge with no direction. Like they just went to a debate class where they were debating something. Honestly, I'll be completely, I just kind of skimmed through it. I don't know what exactly happened. I believe Tuki gave this like really emotional monologue about being different and celebrating uh, differences. But then one of the characters, Dylan I guess is overweight and she ended up crying and storming off and becoming quite angry. And she said like, y'all's differences are fine. Like Tuki, your forehead's big and your eyes are far apart. One of their friends, Shiraz, is just short. And Dylan was like, your differences are beautiful, but mine it's just different being fat and Dylan ends up running into what is it called catwalk corridor but not the catwalk that you think it's a hallway full of cats with human heads and they're angry I don't know why this thing exists but the four of them actually the six of them because Zarpessa and Zarpessa's friend Chaste follows them and they get like cut up and these cats beat the shit out of them <laughs> but then they end up finding Dylan and the four of them the four of them that Seal brought in the pouch with her to model land Seal was also a part of this debate but uh, Seal as a reminder she was like a what's it called like a, a quadruple seven seven and Toxabella the most famous model in the world for years who has gone rogue we don't know what that actually entails she's just not she hasn't been seen for like a year but she's at model land and they've been torturing her like there's this crazy ass scene one night tuki is trying to fall asleep and she starts hearing something and she opens this door i think it's like in her room maybe and it goes to this cell and seal is in there whipping her back until she bleeds like whipping her own back and there's been other times where she has been being tortured by the belladonna but the most recent form of torture is actually putting seal back into school back into model land back into first year of model land they're now all in their second semester but seal has come back and she's in her first semester so she's behind all of these bellas or no c's there's just so many fucking names for the same exact thing it just it's super confusing. But they just have this big emotional moment. Dylan was in the bathroom throwing up when the three of them, Tuki, Shiraz, and Piper come in. And they have this really special heart to heart where they talk about their differences and they talk about coming together and being there for each other. And Tuki has never experienced really love or friendship besides her friend Lizzie, who she's abandoned. And they decide to reclaim this title that Zarpessa, the bully, has given to them. She calls them the ULs, which stands for the unfortunate lookins. <laughs> but Tuki spins that around and decides to call themselves the Unicas. And they're like, okay, period, we are the Unicas now. So yeah, that's where we are now. I am, I guess, about to clock in and get to work because we are finishing this today. We have to finish it today. Okay, so uh, a few chapters later, and there is quite the big, um... This book is draining every single bit of energy from my brain. <laughs> a big development in the plot, finally. So, Tuki goes in for surgery for her lip. Is that what happened? I don't, I don't care. She, <laughs> because the cat had scratched her lip. She goes in for like surgery or something. Thing. like the, the doctor for some reason has to put her under and she counts back from 10 and then she ends up she says she sleepwalked but that doesn't make any sense I think this is like a dr dream but it's like real like I think that's I can't I refuse to believe that she sleepwalked during surgery because that would just be like incredibly irresponsible on behalf of the doctor in the hospital like imagine putting someone under doing surgery on them you finish they're still under you go away and be like okay well look, we'll just let them wake up you come back and they're gone <laughs> however she's behind a fake mirror and she's watching a meeting that belladonna is having with uh, a whole bunch of like board members as well as seal and the belladonna is saying to seal you need to chill the fuck out and stop doing whatever the fuck it is you're doing with those three girls and she mentions shiraz piper 
and Dylan, but not Tuki. And Tuki's like, Whew. so we come to find out that those three girls. This shit is this. This is not making any sense. The three girls that Seal brought to Model Land are for Seal's experiment? I don't know. I don't know what this experiment is. And the Belladonna is like, no, I don't want them here. They're ugly. But then Seal says, well, if you kick them out, then I'm going to tell everyone that you replaced a worthy candidate with somebody else for your own personal gain. And we find out that the person that the Belladonna replaced a worthy candidate was Tuki. The Belladonna, the queen of M Model Land, handpicked Tuki Delacreme for Model Land or something. I don't know. I d that's what's happening. I don't know. So Tuki is obviously freaking the fuck out. Also, Tuki's little sister, Miracle, and their mom, Creamy, <laughs> are fighting their way in a group to get into Model Land, to sneak into Model Land. And it's like a known thing. Every year there are girls who don't make it to Model Land that go on this pilgrimage. It's called, they call it a pilgrimage in the book. And they end up dying because the trek to Model Land is so fucking crazy. Like there's like bugs and shit that eat you. It's just dangerous and they die. But Creamy and Miracle are doing really well. So yeah, yeah. Next time on Survivor. Seal is going to sacrifice them. The lightning strikes her. She ages 50 years. Either way, we're going to die soon. How horrific is that? The girl dry shaved her entire body with a fucking rock in seconds. I'm shaking. <laughs>